San Antonio, Colorado quarterback Brendan Lewis made his debut one to remember Tuesday night, even if the Alamo Bowl final score turned out to be one the Buffaloes would like to forget. Lewis came on in relief of starter Sam Neuer and engineered three touchdown drives in a 55-23 loss to Texas, a game that ended the Buffs' season with a 4-2 record. The 6-2, 225-pound true freshman finished the night 6-for-10 for 95 yards passing and he also ran nine times for 73 yards in his first collegiate touchdown. His first collegiate pass was a 26-yard completion to Dimitri Stanley that set up CU's first touchdown of the night and his first run was a 7-yard gain on a scramble up the middle. He was the bright note of tonight, CU head coach Carl Dorail said. He came in in some difficult circumstances and engineered a couple good drives. It's good to see him gain some experience, gain some confidence, knowing that he belongs at this level and to play against a good program and have the kind of success that he had. I'm very encouraged by his performance today, no question. Lewis did not play in Colorado's five regular season games. But after the Buffs came up empty on their first six possessions Tuesday, including two that ended on Neuer interceptions, he trotted into the huddle and immediately made an impact. His first drive went 50 yards in 10 plays. CU converted two third downs on the drive, including his pass to Stanley that put the Buffs on the Texas two-yard line. Neuer then returned to lead CU to a field goal late in the second quarter, but after two more empty possessions in the third period, Lewis returned. He then led the Buffs on a five-play, 75-yard scoring drive that included another 25-yard toss to Stanley as well as a 44-yard Lewis run. Lewis' final scoring drive covered 75 yards in five plays. He completed three passes for a total of 40 yards to Montana Lamonius Craig and KD Nixon, then capped the march with a two-yard touchdown run. I'm sure he'll learn from this in terms of putting that feather of confidence in his hat that he can move forward and continue to develop, Dorail said. He was the bright light of the offense. He engineered a couple of drives and I think he engineered the team. Hopefully that will be something for him to carry into the offseason and keep building on going into spring practice. Senior Decisions, Dorail said he will meet individually with CU seniors after winter break to discuss their future plans. Because of the COVID-19 pandemic, the NCAA made this a free year of eligibility, meaning every senior on CU's team could ostensibly return next year for another season. That group includes such standouts as linebacker Nate Landman, wide receiver KD Nixon, safety Darion Rakestraw, Neuer, defensive lineman Mustafa Johnson and offensive lineman Kerry Kutch. Some of that bunch will almost certainly decide to test the NFL waters, but several could return.